Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. This is Faithful Friday, where I share the next page I created in the book of the Bible that I'm currently working through. There's really two main things I'm super excited about in this video. One is that all of these things you're looking at right now are used on this page and none of them need any page prep ahead of time. So I know some people are looking for Bible journaling done simply without page prep and this is it. The second reason I'm super excited is because this is my double spread of the crucifixion page. And in my heart, I've been pondering this page for weeks leading up to the actual creation of it. I just have felt a heaviness as I've thought about the crucifixion of Jesus, and at the same time, an excitement to really dig in and meditate on it. So here's kind of your first look at what the page is going to turn out to be. If you are interested, to see how this happened, just keep watching. So I'm going to begin in the upper left hand corner by going over the words, crucify him, crucify him. This was what the crowd shouted and they gave him a crown of thorns and a purple robe and the purple robe will become the background for this page. But here's my crown of thorns. Hopefully you can see I just started with a simple oval and then I started going around and creating another line and then another line that kind of was weaving over and under and over and under. And it was a messy process with the pencil, but now that I'm going over it in pen, it looks fairly neat and tidy. And here you can see I'm adding the words, my kingdom is not of this world. It was just a wonderful, bold statement from Jesus in the midst of his questioning. Next, I'm creating some block lettering that says it is finished, another old statement from Jesus at the end of his life. And you can see I'm just kind of cutting away the pieces of those blocks that I don't need, then going through and erasing the pieces of the blocks that I don't need then adding these little 45 degree angle lines off of the letters and then just kind of filling in the back side of those letters which mirrors whatever the front side was doing so i think that sounds a little bit confusing but if you check out my page process video for the i am he page I also did the same technique a lot slower and explained it well, so I'll link that video in the description box below for you. Next just going over repeating the same process with this pen. These pens are great because if you do just a single layer they tend not to bleed through and they're also great because you can go over them with media that is wet and they don't bleed, they don't move, they're permanent, which is really a great advantage to have sometimes when you're working in your Bible. And lastly, I'm just adding this final verse about Jesus. It says, and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. And this goes with a major theme that I'm gonna talk about in a minute that was something I was really focusing on and meditating on while creating this page. So I'll get back to that theme in a moment. I sped up the video here quite a bit because you've seen me do this before. I'm just masking off verses with washi tape so that they are not going to be hit with color when I start adding color to the page. Speaking of adding color to the page, I am jumping in with a light purple and a dark purple here and trying to create the illusion of the robe of Jesus, the purple robe that they put on him prior to his crucifixion. And I'm gonna grab a baby wipe and just start to do some initial blending here in a minute. This looks like such a mess, but you will see this baby wipe just begins to smooth things out. So I'm only gonna touch the light areas initially, the areas where there's words that I wanna make sure show through. And my experience with using this baby wipe with these water-soluble oil pastels 
was super fun. I just kind of kept working with it until I got something I liked. And I hope you can kind of see, but working with these baby wipes, it's actually really easy to take off too much color, which is great because that makes this media really forgiving as you work with it. One tip that I found was really helpful was using the dark purple kind of behind the upper fold of the fabric. These dark lines that I drew in are meant to be guidelines for where the folds are. And you can see now I'm going in with black and doing the same thing. Right behind the top of the fold is where the darkest area is going to be on the fabric. So I'm trying to leave light areas right in front and then dark areas right behind. And that's what's going to create this illusion of there being a wrinkled piece of fabric on the Bible page. So just adding and adding and adding more black, more dark purple to create these shadows. I also wanted a good amount of shadow underneath where that crown of thorns is sort of hanging on the corner of the text. I sort of stumbled across this technique that you'll see me use here in a minute. Take the baby wipe and turn it to a clean spot and then run it along that ridge of fabric. And what that does is remove color and give the impression that that is where the light is most intense on this piece of fabric. So one of the things I was thinking about was just how much control Jesus had over his destiny and over what was happening to him during this time. He was God. So he knew exactly what was coming and in his infinite wisdom allowed it to happen to himself. That was a real comforting thought to me, just a reminder that he was in charge. It also just freshly blew me away again to think about how great his love must have been for all of us, for all of mankind to be willing to endure this. You can see here I'm removing that washi tape and I'm going to go ahead and blend in the edges just slightly so it's not such a stark contrast. Hitting the page with some warm air to dry it out. And here I'm just showing you the reverse side of the pages and how even without any extra page preparation, nothing I've done so far has soaked through so let that be an encouragement to jump in and create things in your Bible. So here I've selected some brown watercolor pencils and I'm just quickly plopping color on. So starting with the lighter color on the thorns and on the high points of the crown itself and then moving to medium browns and then darker browns and these watercolor pencils are amazing. You can kind of just scribble in your colors and then when you hit them with a slightly wet watercolor brush, everything just blends beautifully and looks great. So I'm doing that here. I'm starting with the lighter areas and wetting them to help these colors kind of come alive. And then I'll move to the medium browns and then I will end with the darker browns, obviously. And you can do this technique. This is not a tricky technique. This is something that you can just kind of play around with and see what you like and figure it out. It's all about spending time in the Word and spending time with the Lord, praising Him, thanking Him for all that He has done. Moving over to the blocked lettering across the page, just adding a brown color to the front with a very light hand. These are my Crayola twistable colored pencils. These are inexpensive and a very wonderful tool to have if you are trying to hop into Bible art journaling. You can see here I'm going in with a heavier hand with the exact same brown and I'm able to get a darker color and this is going on any of the surfaces that are sort of flat and this is helping to establish a light source and make these letters have dimension 
I decided to go ahead and use the black as the color for the final side of these three-dimensional letters. And there's the page, you guys. This took me a long time, and so I do apologize for the length of the video, but thanks for hanging in there with me. You can support me in this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below, and in the description box you'll also find information about this page, links to fun playlists, and how to join my Bible journaling Facebook group. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, comment below, and please dive into the living Word of God. It is amazing. See you next time.